I don't think I ever told you that, and Rana, I don't think you know this, the biggest scam I really ever participated in was my aunt used to make me go to Neiman Marcus with her and take (gasps) things when I was like eight, like fully anti-main. Shoplifting? Yeah. She would make me take like throw pillows and then like meet her at the car. And I just thought it was like, I just thought like we were having so much fun. I didn't think anything was strange about it. I knew it was stealing. But I didn't think anything was weird about it. But yeah. And then she would just throw them on her bed. How yeah. did I love your aunt? She's How, the best. Oh How did God. she's the best? She's a, okay, I have she's two a, questions she's about She's a con that. artist. Is what she is. Actually, <laughs> what I'd love is for Lacey to ask you the questions, but I have a couple questions about that. One is I want to know. You can answer this in either order. Sure. I want to know what psychologically you think about her motivated that kind of behavior because I think find shoplift is endlessly fabulous, uh, endlessly fascinating. And I don't mean, I don't mean kids that take a bag of chips. I mean, people that really, I mean, Winona Ryder going to sex and then, yeah. and then <laughs> finally, ha- finally having to tell her me too, <laughs> because there's all these incredible people don't really talk about this much, but there's all these incredibly wealthy women who still steal. And then at the end of the month, their husbands have presented with a bill. She's the and first person. Yes, that's right. So I'm curious, A, what you think motivated it in her, mm. and B, how whether it was ever revealed and therefore your mother said to you, you're not allowed to go to Neiman's with aunt so-and-so anymore, or, or did it come out? It was, it, honestly, it was a piece of a whole with my mom saying, I think that you are best suited not to hang out with her any longer. She's my sister. I love her. But I think and that was just a piece of the entire thing. Um, but I think that, I, honestly, I think she thought the shit was too expensive. That's truly all I think it was, is that she <laughs> wanted to throw pillows and was like, they're way too expensive. Capitalism. Yeah. Now, wait, <laughs> did she have like a what? nice home? Did it feel because if you're shoplifting from Neiman's, that's different than shoplifting from Walmart. You know, I what agree. I mean? <laughs> no, she didn't. She didn't have a particularly nice. She wasn't making a lot of money, certainly, and um, she um was divorced, and her husband, when they were married, did have a lot of money, and so right. she, I think, and then she just didn't have any, and so I think. She just missed it. I honestly don't know. Well, that's um, not, she felt she still deserved it. She and that she, nice things. Yeah. yeah. And that, that she couldn't have them and F him and F everyone. She was going to have them anyway. We used to shoplift yes. from everywhere. Every, like, Where else? And who's Farmers way? markets, actually. Me and her. She taught farmers me how. Farmers markets. <laughs> We would steal. No, that's not right. Now they they growing up them turnips. They loving on them, talking to each one of them, bringing them to the farmers market. Hard work. You over here lifting them with your auntie. We would steal food. We would steal champagne. I assume she could afford a turnip. (laughs) What do you mean you'd steal champagne? We'd just steal champagne from Central Market. Central Market in Austin. And what what did that? And so what did that ruse look like? I mean, and I would just she say down with to you when we go in there, or would she hand it to you and say, I'll meet you at the car? Okay. So we would go in and she would say, wow. like, we should get some champagne. And we'd and be like, okay. And then she would go 27. check out. And, she goes, just, and then she'd go, <laughs> just take it. And then, I, yeah, I would meet her at the car with the bottle of champagne. And how old were you? 11. And would you drink the champagne with her? No. She would never Food offer you a glass? <laughs> Even She's worse. Always offer you a glass. Even worse. <laughs> Can I say something? I'm not the guest here. Okay. Can we get this off of me, please? Uh, you're the one who and brought it up. And my questionable choices. Yeah. You brought this it is up. Fantastic. You said as long as I have you let here, Lacey, I meant to tell you this <laughs> whole true. story about my childhood. I did bring it up. <laughs> and then we started talking about it. I See what I'm I dealing with here? More. Because I needed to know if she was, I have two types of shoplifters. I have the Winona Riders and I have, you know, the survivors. The people were like, well, what'd you do if your son was at home? Oh, (laughs) You know, there's those people who are shoplifting. And then you got the Winona Riders. It's like Mm. shoplifting is healthier for you than smoking cigarettes. And you get the same high. You get out to the car. You're like, ooh. Couldn't (laughs) agree more. What do you think? And it lasts you you so much longer because if it's something like that you're not going to eat or drink, it's in your house forever. Right. So you you think there's only a rush? There's no shame involved? 
No, because it's really? all about, am I going to get caught? Are they going to see me? Your aunt is a great scammer because Central Rogue Market <laughs> is an amazing place to shoplift from. They don't have no real inventory there. Everything <laughs> is everywhere. There's cheese by the, the greeting cards. And there's jelly beans <laughs> by a mom. Wait, that story is crazy. <laughs> Like, so it's like you can definitely shoplift from Central World Market. They don't know what's in there. I think that honestly, Central World Market might be a bunch of people boosting professionally and then just drop stuff off like we stole this from France. <laughs> it is. 